Hello everybody, I'm Dr. Nikhil Nasta from Eyesight, Eye Care and Surgery. I'm the founder and CEO of Eyesight. I'm talking to you today about lazy eyes. Sometimes we go to the doctor and our children are diagnosed with high numbers and then the doctor says, you know what, this child also has a lazy eye and we go dhak 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 dhak, what is he talking about? Arre, don't panic, a lazy eye na, is an eye that is not used to its maximum potential. There is vision in that eye, there is no abnormality, there is no problem. But the thing is that that eye has never used uh, to a maximum potential. Imagine now, I am always seeing with both my eyes, correct? So if I have a number in one eye that's kind of high and I don't have a number in the other eye or this is my better eye, by default my brain will ignore or suppress the images which are hazy, weak, blurred and not sharp. So, from childhood I have seen sharply with my left eye and not so sharply with my right eye to the effect that much later, uh, maybe many years later, if I close one eye and see, my vision in this eye may not be that good because I have never used it. It's like going to the gym and always exercising the right biceps and never the left one. Understand? So, this hand will be relatively weaker, relatively lazier. But what's the solution? Exercise this hand more and this one less, correct? Same way here for treatment of lazy eyes. Usually children below the age of 7-8 years would be treated by patching. Patching means we have to cover the eye which is good. So in my case now, the left eye. So there will be a patch placed over here. The child is then forced to see with the bad eye only. Full time he's seeing only with the bad eye. To the effect that this eye now the signals go faster and over a period of time it will overtake, it will come back to the level as the good eye. This is how a lazy eye is treated. Patching has strict regimens which a pediatric ophthalmologist is the best person to guide you. How to go about patching? Nowadays some people don't do patching also. They go for other treatments, they go for full on correction, glasses, they give you some exercises to do. They give you some fine work that you need to do. Essentially, what it all boils down to is that you bring up the weaker eye to the level of the better eye. Now, why is this important? Man is a binocular animal. So, we always have to see with both our eyes. If we don't treat a lazy eye, either it's going to stay lazy all throughout. So, it will remain weak. And then we will not have the depth perception or the stereopsis which a normal adult will have. Um, many people go unnoticed with this and they manage through life. But yeah, it's not the best uh, potential vision that you can achieve. So this is why we treat a lazy eye. Sometimes untreated lazy eyes can go in for a squint also, which is a deviation of the eye. I personally feel all children should be checked proactively at the age of 1 year, 2 year, 5 years and so on. And if they have glasses, then they should wear them. And the first few visits for a child's eye care should be with a pediatric ophthalmologist trained in these conditions. Lazy eye is very curable, very treatable and um, if you are in the correct hands, there will be good vision coming back also. So make that appointment right now. Call your pediatric ophthalmologist and get your child's vision sorted. Thank you.